Hi everyone, this is Brian again from BNL PC Solutions. Just wanted to put this quick video together and show you um, using the product Threat Locker, how we can assist or help your staff from saving files to locations that you don't want them saving to. Uh, we do see this a lot. Um, some companies don't want or, or want to prevent people from saving to their desktops or their documents folders or their downloads folders, uh, whatever it is. Uh, but desktop seems to be a big one that um, just because most people don't back up desktops um, or if it's a company laptop and they take it with them, you don't want them storing some data on, on that desktop, God forbid something happens to it and it's not encrypted or wh whatever the case may be. It's just an additional layer of protection to prevent that from happening and forcing them to save their data to a network share. Um, so real quick, I'm going to show you on this computer here. Um, I'm going to create a new text document. We'll call it test. And as you can see, I just I have it saved right to the desktop. It's not a shortcut. It's a uh, actual and again, this can be Word, Excel. Um, I'm just using a text a TXT document uh, file just to show you how this works. So we go into our portal here, and I have a policy created for this. And now we can do this globally to um, the entire organization. We can do it down to the server level, the entire workstations group. Uh, but for now, I'm just doing it on this. I'm assigning the policy to this lab computer. I call the policy block saving to desktop. And I'll show you, you know, a little bit of, of how that policy works. So right now, the policy uh, name is whatever you want to call it. But, but for the ease of this demo, I just call the block saving to desktop is the name of the policy. Um, right now, you saw I was able to save to the desktop. That's because the policy is permitting it to do that. So if I drop this down and say deny, and you got to be careful here. If you don't want to necessarily deny read because then um, they won't be able to open any files. So um, again, for this demo, I'm just going to say write so we can't save files to it. Um, but if you have a clean desktop, by all means, you could do read and write and then apply the file type to it. Uh, so we're doing it to this lab computer, as I discussed. We're not doing it to the entire organization. And then here's where it gets, uh, you get a little more granular into um, the path. So this, uh, we have the user's, folder and then below that is star what that means is any you maybe it's a computer that's uh, multiple people use so there's different logins um, or it's a server uh, and you want to hit every uh, user account that logs into that server so that star just by default will say anybody um, and we pick the desktop and then as you can see here um, any file name that ends in txt we're not allowing them to save to uh, this desktop folder and again, we can create a line for uh, XLS, for Word docs, for PowerPoint, <clears throat> for wh whatever we want. We can This can be as long as we need, need it to be. And um, that's really all we're going to configure here. We have options where we can um, have it run only during certain hours. But for this policy, we're just going to keep it so that it blocks saving to the desktop um, all the time. And you click here to deploy. And what this does, this pushes that those policy changes out to whatever devices that policy is assigned to. So in this case, it's just pushing it out to this single desktop. But if you had a group of 10, 20, 100, 500 computers, it doesn't matter. That policy will get pushed out and um, it'll take up 60 seconds for that policy to hit those machines. And so if we go back to the desktop, the file I have still exists, right? And we didn't delete anything. This policy doesn't do that. So if we go here, we can see our, our test file but let's go ahead and try to create a second one now call it a new text document and as you can see right there right off the bat we're, we're denied access because it's a text document but if, if we want to take let's use excel for example i do a blank workbook And I want to do a save as on that. Let's save that to the desktop. As you can see, it allowed me to do that because the policy that we just enforced only is for text documents. It's not for Excel. And if we edit Excel, we wouldn't be able to save there. It's pretty, pretty neat. And um, if you guys want more information, 
reach out to us, give us a call, uh, 631-239-4120. Uh, hit us up on our website, blpc.com, and we can get uh, get you a, a demo of the product. Um, it literally takes seconds to install. We can give you a 30-day trial and uh, show you what else this product can do because it's really amazing. Thanks and have a good day.